same thing applies in terms of using uh, the, the outrigger plate, the liberator in this. You gotta place your nose in the right spot. So don't tell me, oh, because I'm using a dragon blade, I can't do it. No, nonsense. You have to use, grab the water and move the canoe into the canoe nose into the right place. Go, go. Same thing works. Now I will say, the dragon boat blade doesn't grab as hard as the concave liberator. Because, like I said, flat blades are easier to let the water go. But technically you can. You just have to be more careful about catching water. One, two, three. It's very easy to compensate a dragon boat blade. Oh. current. So, learn to feel your blade. Learn to feel your dragon boat blade. Not for practice, but for your own tactile ability. It will make you a better dragon boat paddler. Even if you sprint at 60 strokes per minute, if you understand and feel the whole of the water better doing this, it will make you a better sprinter. How the spring will hold. It'll make all the difference. I know. It sounds contradictory. How can you learn to paddle faster by learning to paddle slower? The paddle slower part is learning how to feel the solidity of water. Not salinity, the solidity of water. How solid water is. Learn how to hold water. That's all what all paddling is. Surf ski, outrigger, V1. Hold the water and move the canoe. Look, right? That's all that is. But yes, you can burn a lot of calories like that. Nothing wrong with that. But if your goal is just trying to lose weight, then yes, that's fine. But think of all the impact you're doing to your joints. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but pretty much when it balls out surfing, of uh, uh, sprinting, you tend to forget your form, you forget your, your water feel, you just hit it hard. I've been warning against this a long time. It's too bad, I see. So many Dragon Ball Powers have shoulder surgery. You follow it. Do you like this? Share this. Share your friends who are killing it. Hope they don't destroy themselves. Aloha. And today's uh, what I call dragon boat surfing video. Sounds funny. It's dedicated to Jenny, one of uh, my followers who been asking me very carefully about what to do with her technique stuff as she recovers from surgery of her shoulder. You know from inappropriate coaching or whatever and I hope this helps do this keep this in mind and share with your friends Aloha